WDHN reported on the elimination of two of 29 voting houses in rural Coffee County. In the presidential election in November 2020, as you see video here, busy precincts like the Jug Brown Recreation Center and the Enterprise YMCA saw record voting lines. In some cases, voters waited for more than two hours to cast a ballot. But in rural sections of Coffee County, precincts like Victoria Baptist Church and Chestnut Grove saw very few voters. District 2 County Commissioner Kim Ellis will see the closing of Chestnut Grove. It'll be consolidated with the Frisco Voting House. He says it's not always easy to close a precinct, but in these times of COVID and fewer elderly poll workers, it'll save taxpayer dollars. Dale County has approximately the same population of Coffee County, but it has about half the number of voting precincts. Economically for the county and being able to find poll workers now is a very hard thing to do. Uh, especially with COVID out here now, older people that usually are our voting uh, workers uh, don't want to participate anymore because of the chance of exposure. The elimination of Chestnut Grove and Victoria's precincts will be in effect for the Alabama May primary races.